Bioenergy has been a controversial topic for centuries, actually. Mm -hmm. And now, of course, we are developing mm -hmm. new tools to identify the energy flows in the body and measure them. And ones that are everyday in our experience are things like MRIs, EEGs. We're used to seeing those images from EEGs and MRIs. We're a little less comfortable with all of the... Um, fields outside of our body. If you look at a raw MRI, it's not just showing you what's going on inside the body, it's showing you these beautiful aura-like colors outside the body as well. And so uh, there are these fields that are characteristic of living things. There are electrical fields, magnetic fields, there are light fields. A very recent study published just in the last few weeks looked at, uh, used mice as its subjects, and looked at living mice versus dead mice, and they found that the living mice were emitting these beautiful light rays. They had this light that these very sophisticated photomultipliers were able to detect emanating from their bodies. That light ceased when the mice were, were not alive. So we now know we are literally beings of light. <laughs> and our bodies are beings, our bodies are bodies of light. And so what these therapies do is they focus on healing and using those fields and shifts in those fields to produce healing. And so when you're with a Qigong master, when you're with an energy healer, when you're with a biofield expert, when you're with somebody skilled in this, you spend some time with them and then you start usually very quickly to feel different. You're walking into their field. Our energy field, our heart's electromagnetic field is measurable 15 feet, three meters away from the body. And so when you're six meters, 30 feet away from somebody else, and you walk toward them, your energy fields are already interacting. And so we have these energy interactions going on and they can be used for healing. And one of the systems that I use a lot is the acupuncture meridian system. It's very easy to measure with a modern device called a galvanometer. We can place a, a little, little electrode on your skin. We can figure out exactly where your acupressure, acupressure, acupuncture points are. And when you use this for healing, things happen very, very rapidly, much more rapidly usually than trying to manipulate matter. And one of the case histories that popped into my mind was one we use in our certification program, our healing certification, and it's a video of me working with uh, an elderly woman in her 70s, and she had had a, uh, a limitation in her left biceps muscle for decades. She couldn't move her arm very far, and she had had this ever since an operation many, many years before. They had shortened the muscle as part of a rotator cuff injury repair, and ever since then, she had very limited range of motion in her left biceps and mild pain all the time. And so here I am. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not licensed in any way. I'm just a coach and a researcher. And so I was tapping on acupressure points with her. And she was thinking about all the emotions around this. Now, first of all, she showed us, everyone in the room, how far her arm wouldn't go and the limitation of her range of motion. And then we began to tap. I mean, explored all the feelings, all the emotions she had around this while we applied pressure to these acupressure points, shifting the energy field. So now she's bringing these problems to mind in a loving, safe environment, but we're shifting and regulating her energies while she's doing that. Her bioenergy body is being regulated. After that treatment, about a 30 minute treatment in front of a room full of people with me, I said, okay, raise your left arm again. And she raised her arm and she could raise it all the way to the ceiling. And that biceps pain that had been plaguing her for so many years was completely gone. And again, this was a appeared to be a purely physical problem linked to an operation. The day before the operation, she did not have the pain. The day after, she did, and she had it ever since the operation. So the mind would tell me, my logical researcher brain would say, well, purely physical problem. But I, I in my live workshops, I, I teach at Omega, I teach at Esalen sometimes, I teach different parts of the world, I teach virtually. I pick somebody 
with a purely physical problem, a purely physical problem that has no apparent psychological, spiritual, or emotional components to it, we work with them and all we do is we adjust the energy and the body just responds. So these energy flows are powerful and we are somatic beings. When we shift our energy, when our energy is flowing, then our bodies just very easily and naturally respond. We find people being healed of autoimmune diseases. We find that most cases of fibromyalgia are improved, if not eliminated. Much psoriasis, again, another autoimmune condition, is, is shifted. All kinds of diseases respond, whether they're, 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 um, they're autoimmune diseases, whether they're lifestyle diseases, they start to shift when we change our energy. So our bodies and energy are intricately linked. Change one, you change the other.